नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिट एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस वी आर सॉल्विंग द फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम आई सर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द ट्वेल्थ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम फिजिक्स विच इज बेस्ड ऑन द काइनेटिक थियरी ऑफ गैसेस लेट्स रीड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट टू आइडेंटिकल कंटेनर्स कैप्ट एट द सेम टेम्परेचर कैरी द सेम गैस विद डिफरेंट मॉलिकुलर मीन फ्री पार्ट्स एल वन एंड एल टू द गैस फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट कंटेनर इज कम्प्लीटली ट्रांसफर्ड इन टू द सेकेंड एट द सेम टेम्परेचर वॉट इज द मॉलिकुलर मीन फ्री पाथ ऑफ द रिजल्टेंट मिक्सचर इन द सेकेंड कंटेनर एंड वी हैव फोर ऑप्शन रूट एल वन एल टू एल वन प्लस एल टू एल वन एल टू अपॉन एल वन प्लस एल टू एंड रूट ऑफ एल वन स्क्वेड प्लस एल टू स्क्वेड नाउ सॉल्विंग और ट्राइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग डायमेंशन इज नॉट गोइंग टू हेल्प बिकॉज ऑल फोर ऑप्शन are such that uh, well they have the dimensions of length okay so that is not going to help now let us recall the formula that we intend to use here and that formula is this lambda is equal to v upon root 2 pi d squared n okay let me write down the quantities here now lambda is the mean free path okay mean free path v is the volume okay of the container in which that gas is present d is molecular diameter okay d is the molecular diameter and capital n is the total number of molecules total number of molecules okay so this formula is what we will be using here correct now because of identical containers they have said identical containers that means same volume will be there for both the containers and then the gas from the first container is completely being transferred to the second one so our final system will also have the same volume okay then we have same temperature and the same gas okay now the significance of the term same gas as that okay the molecular diameter is same okay molecular diameter is uh, is is same okay and root 2 and pi are anyways constant so under these conditions we can say that lambda is going to be inversely proportional to n correct let us now suppose that Uh, in the first container there are n1 molecules okay let us suppose that there are n1 molecules in container 1 container 1 and n2 molecules in container 2 so what can i say therefore l1 will be inversely proportional to n1 l2 will be inversely proportional to n2 and l3 okay that is the combined will be inversely proportional to 1 upon uh, or in, inversely proportional to n1 plus n2 because you are transferring the molecules of the first gas uh, from first container okay from the first container to the second okay so l3 is our final uh, mean free path or l3 is the mean free path of the resultant mixture okay l3 is the mean free path of the resultant mixture okay now uh, suppose the constant of proportionality is a small a okay so we now have l2 equal to a by n2 and l3 being equal to uh, a by n1 plus n2 now let us uh, substitute for n1 and n2 here so what will l3 be l3 will be a divided by what is n1 a by l1 what is n2 a by l2 from the second equation a a will get cancelled so it will be 1 upon 1 upon l1 plus 1 upon l2 or it will be l1 l2 upon l1 plus l2 okay first it will be 1 upon l1 l2 sorry l1 plus l2 upon l1 plus l2 and then the denominator that is l1 l2 that will go in the numerator so the mean free path will be L one L two upon L one plus L two. L one L two upon L one plus L two will be C. So the correct option is C. 
okay so it is actually a formula based problem if you know the formula and the terms in particular what what every term represents okay quite often in these kinetic theory formula we have a uh, root mean squared velocity or we call it vrms so there is a chance that you might know the formula and you you may call this as a uh, vrms but this is not vrms let me tell you that this is volume okay this is the volume of the container in which that ideal gas is uh, present correct so option uh, question 12 option c next video will be on question number 13